Hi, I'm Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Friday, December 13th, 2024. Today I'm doing an update on genital herpes worldwide. Well, the World Health Organization released a news update recently, and I tell you the numbers really surprised me. 846 million people between the ages of 15 and 49 worldwide are living with genital herpes. That's more than one in five in this age group worldwide. And each year, 42 million people are newly infected. Now remember, this is a lifelong infection and a person can be shedding the virus and not have any symptoms. So what causes genital herpes? I've mentioned that it's a virus. It's called HSV or herpes simplex virus. There are two types of herpes. Uh, viruses. HSV2, this is the cause of genital herpes. It's spread through sexual activity and again it causes 90% of genital herpes infections. And there's HSV type 1 that can cause oral and genital herpes. Now what are the symptoms to watch for? Well her genital herpes often causes pain, itching, and small sores that can form ulcers and scabs. Oftentimes, people have pain with urination. Now, after the initial infection, the virus can lay dormant. That means it goes silent or inactive, but can cause outbreaks for years. What causes an outbreak? Well, stress, illness, fatigue, and even sunlight can trigger recurrent herpes uh, outbreaks. So what about prevention and treatment? Well, condoms reduce transmission risk, but they aren't 100% infective. In an intimate sexual relationship with a person who has herpes, the risk of contracting the infection is never zero. But you want to avoid sexual contact during outbreaks for sure. Now, there are antiviral medications that can help manage the symptoms, but there is no cure for herpes as of today. So why does this matter? Well, this is a disease that has a lot of stigma, and people don't talk about it. But it infects a whole lot of people and worldwide costs about $35 billion in healthcare costs and lost productivity. We do not have any vaccines. We do have some treatments to reduce its impact, but we really have to fight the stigma and focus on education, prevention, recognizing the symptoms and getting people to seek medical care if it's needed. And also remember to tell your provider if you're pregnant because this infection can be transmitted to the baby and cause neonatal herpes. So that's my message today. I know it's a little long. Take care, folks, and be well.